What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So I had a amazing surprise in my garden. Uh, I have a neem plant that is growing. Uh, there was a seed that somehow ended up in my garden. Now I stay on the terrace on the fifth floor. So how is it possible for uh, the seeds to end up in my pot? I thought about the same because there are so many plants, flowering plants that are growing in my garden. Uh, voluntarily, I was not very sure. Uh, definitely, it's not some magic. But I realized uh, why this is happening. Because I tend to collect the garden soil or the regular soil from the roadside. And that is one of the reasons why I think I am getting a lot of these voluntary plants uh, uh, probably there are some seeds in that uh, garden soil a lot of times I don't filter that garden soil I directly use it in my plants so probably there was a, a neem a seed probably in one of that uh, place where I had picked up the soil because I'm not very sure I, because I pick up the soil from different places wherever there is some soil thrown uh, or discarded I collect that soil uh, so probably from one of that place uh, the seed might have come in and now because I don't use any chemicals uh, everything is organic in my garden so probably it might have uh, generated or germinated that seed but I am extremely excited I will put up the image on the screen of how it looked initially I was not very sure but the moment I looked at the shape of the leaves I knew that this was a neem plant now of course this plant tends to grow into a tree I won't be able to grow it as a tree but probably if I can let it even reach up to uh, seven feet tall I do have my uh, coir poles which are almost seven feet tall so even if it reaches up to seven feet tall it's absolutely fine I don't have an issue so of that size I can definitely grow it so probably I'll have to start shifting it to a bigger pot as in when it starts to grow now because it's a very small uh, plant so I have put it in a very small pot it's just a sapling but I'm very happy that you know I was able to grow this because neem plant has a lot of medicinal value uh, the neem oil also comes from this plant but not from the leaves uh, the neem oil comes from the seeds now of course in order for this plant to get seeds that is a very very long time uh, i don't think in a pot it will start to seed or flower we never know but most probably it will not seed in a pot because it requires a very large space or probably they do well in ground but i'm happy that at least it is doing quite well i'll start moving it into a larger pots i do have around uh, 15 or i think probably i have 15 inch pots 20 inch pots i can transfer it as in when it starts to grow but as of now it is going to be in this uh, i have kept it in indirect bright light because it's very young otherwise it will get burnt um, it gets probably around one to two hours of early morning direct sunlight which is mild and then it gets indirect bright light it is going to be a very long journey probably it will take uh, several years for it to reach uh, you know up to 10 feet tall that is a very long process but i can definitely use the leaves so we can see how it works but as long as it's healthy and it is growing that is more important uh, i water the soil when it is uh, two to three inches dry i water until the water starts passing through the drain hole a good amount of uh, indirect bright light throughout the day just early morning direct sunlight and it has been doing quite well uh, it's also putting up uh, some new growth you can see on the upper portion some new shoots coming up so the leaves of this plant are uh, often used in uh, the cosmetic world because neem is very good for skin very good for hair uh, people also tend to make soaps they also tend to make um, hair gel uh, they use it in oils so it tends to work out really well uh, the taste of the neem is very 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 bitter you cannot eat it like that it is very bitter uh, a lot of people also eat it because it can clean your stomach as well i'm not very sure about all of these stuff i'm not a doctor so i wouldn't advise that but of course it is used in hair oils in soaps uh, they tend to make paste out of it and put it on the skin if you have acne it tends to help in that way but i definitely do not uh, encourage you to ingest because i'm not very sure about how uh, your body would react to neem leaves so i do not encourage in ingesting any of the leaves for hair for making soaps for making hair oil uh, for making a face pack it is good 
uh, as long as it's used externally because i also tend to use it as a soap not this one but i buy it from the shop so it's used in a lot of uh, cosmetic uh, products so that's about it guys i hope that you like this video and i'm very happy with this beautiful surprise uh, i have been getting a lot of flowering plants as well you might have seen the cosandra which also had uh, come up voluntarily in my garden so now i am sure this is all because of that uh, soil that i pick up from the roadside so that's about it guys i hope that you like this video if you did please hit the like button and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep planting